Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and I just finished recording attempt number 18. I was kind of thinking, like, how many of these do I want to do? I'm thinking 20 is a nice round number, and that will be, uh, that will give us, you know, 9 or 10. I think it will give us 9 attempts with the, using the Law of Cosines method. So I think that'll be enough. Uh, you know, if we have 8 out of 9 successes, and then we know that that one would have been a success if I had done the, um, you know, if I had done the timing a bit different. So I think we'll do two more of these, and then we'll probably be done with the direct landing for a while. It's something I do want to come back to every now and then because it's fun. But um, all right, let's go ahead and switch camera views here and jump into it. So let's view our flight record. Um, view our flight record. So 18 attempts, nine successes, and of those. Nine successes is the last uh, six out of seven flights were a success. And again, the other one would have been. 400. And no entry. All right, so kill, rotate, uh, left shift escape, right shift escape. And we will remember this time that um, since we are doing a continuation when we look at interplanetary MFD, it sets that TEJ, so I'm going to immediately go to that and put it to zero. So that way I'm not left wondering what's going on. But luckily, you know, Brighton Beach is already selected, altitude's already selected, anticipation angle is already selected, so all we have to do is dial in the time that we want. And let's start with, uh, let's start with 2700. So that's a uh, 700 dV, seems a lot. So let's go 2600. That's higher. Let's go 20. Wait, where did I start at? Let me start again. 2600, 2700, okay, 2800. And then usually like 2900 to 3000 is what we normally do. We got a couple more minutes on this one, so we could do 3000. That's a significant savings. Uh, 3100 might be possible in this flight. So that's 180. 3,000 is two, so that's a pretty significant savings. Let's try 3050. All right, let's do 3050 on this flight. I don't want to be too greedy on the time and mess it up. All right, so let's go ahead and burn it. And all right, there we go. And let's log it. So let's switch over here and scroll down. And we're going to copy this line, paste it down. And we did 3050 this time same anticipation angle we don't know what that is yet we don't know what that is yet and we don't know what that is yet and we don't know what that is yet all right so let's go ahead and switch back over here that burn is now complete so right away let's go to i'm going to go ahead this time i'm going to leave the com nav set how it is and just see if it continues to work all right, so we want burn time calculator to dial in our triangle calculation. So let's put in the DV for the re-entry velocity, which is 39.79. And we have this number. All right, so this is our re-entry angle, 34.904, and our distance is, is 309.504. So let's go ahead and put that into our calculation. Again, <clears throat> re-entry angle was 34,904, and the distance was 309,504. So that's the low end, that's the high end. So we can definitely go down to 198. I'm going to say we can go down to 197, and I'm going to leave it at that, 197. So same as we had here. So how similar are these? Well, we don't know yet. But that's when we're going to begin our burn because we have to do the burn you know we know it's at least this much plus a bit more and four percent i think is a bit excessive so you know i'm going down maybe i even want to change that to three percent i might do that let me see what that would be really quick if i change this to three percent okay yeah let me actually try that so we'll, we'll, we'll say instead of using 4% and always cutting off a little bit, we'll try 3%, and that's pretty much right where we're at. All right, so let's go ahead and switch camera views here. 
and let's go retrograde. We're done with this. So let's go to our generic camera. If we go back three times, we get the tail. I went forward instead of backwards. All right, let's get that set. Something like that. All right, a little bit of time warp to let the autopilot settle. Come out of time warp, turn off retrograde, kill, kill again. And let me just check everything. Wheels are up, retro doors are open. All right, I think we're, I think we're squared away. Rotation. Make sure that's on rotation. Okay, let's warp time forward until we are down to 400 kilometers. Out of time warp. Slow down time warp, brother. Slow down again. Slow down again. Go retrograde. And then about 403 is usually when I go down to 0 0.1. About right there. Okay, so DV for the vertical speed is 2789. Give that a second to update. It's updated. Control P to pause. So 153165, 153165, 153165. And now we're going to unpause, put in the DV, put in the DV for the ground speed, which is 3844. Enter, give it a moment to update, it's updated, control P to pause, 289085, 289085, 289085, alright, we're paused, let's think about this. So in this flight, we have a pretty good range, more so than we've had in some of the previous ones. And remember, this is our 50% column. It's, it, this this might work. It certainly would work if you began the burn and realized, you know, I'm at 700 meters a second, but I'm at 25 kilometers, so I need to stop the burn and fall a bit. But in this case, this would work even better. And, you know, maybe 30%. Let's actually see what that would be. So if we just change J6 to 0 0.3. That might be too low. Yeah, that that would that might work. Remember, you have 191, so that might work. But I feel like you're cutting it a bit close. I think 35 would be better. Yeah, maybe maybe that's a bit much. Maybe 32 percent. Yeah, something like that. So um, let me undo, undo, undo. So in this one, you know, this feels pretty far off, but it would work. It would probably work. And if you, you know, but this would work even better and then closer to 30% would work even better yet. So take from that what you will. Of course, we don't actually know this is a success yet. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. All right, let's switch back over here and let's unpause. We're doing the burn at 197 kilometers. Back to real time. We're done with this. Let's go ahead and bring up Probably don't have that yet. Oh, we do. That's weird. Usually this doesn't come online until you're 25. I guess it's because we had already had that available to us. And then we reset the flight, so somehow Orbiter didn't take that information away. So, all right, let's hydrate. <clears throat> okay, pilot is hydrated. Let's go ahead and get a bit lower. Wait, when are we doing this? <laughs> 197. Okay, getting ready to do the burn. We're in the retrograde position. All right, let's not be late. 197. And begin the burn. I feel like I nailed that one. All right, let's warp time forward. Get our vertical speed down. Come out of time warp. So it looks like we'll be really close to the base. A little bit more time warp. 
Hmm. I'm really tempted to go ahead and kill the burn now. Yeah, let me kill the burn now. Let's go level. Let's go to the down cam. Put down our landing gear. Uh, we're in rotation. We do have to watch our vertical speed, though. We're falling really fast. Gear down. So once we're leveled out, we'll start applying some hover hold. All right, we're pretty close to being level. Go ahead and start zeroing out. You are clear to land. All right, now I will shut that. Actually, let me just go ahead and leave it on, but let me just set it for a lower amount. All right, so rotation. Hey, what do you know? I actually got the rotation correct for once. All right, we're moving towards the landing pad. We got five minutes. Okay, translate. translate. Start slowing things down. Slow things down a bit more. Uh, I think we already put the gear down. I'm pretty sure I did that. Does anybody remember? Go ahead and leave your comments down below if you remember. Of course, by the time, never mind. I'm just joking. Oh no, we have a lot of sideways velocity here. All right, how are we on fuel? We're good on fuel. Let's uh, speed up our descent though. Three minutes left. Actually, let's go ahead. Let's actually s turn this off. Let's drop like a rock. And we're just going to set this to a, a lower number. Like that. All right. Rotate translation. 1,000. 1,000. I already put the landing gear down, right? Yes. All right, plenty of time left. Let's not get in a big hurry and mess this up. All right, and we're, we're in translation. All right, let's go ahead and drop a little bit faster, though. 500. Okay, we're almost over the center of the pad. 400. Start taking out some of our velocities here. All right, I'm going to say that's pretty good there. Let's concentrate on not hitting the ground really hard. Oh, no! I hate when I hit that reset by mistake. All right, plenty of time. All right, I'm going to say we can go ahead and turn this off now. 200 up. Plenty of time, plenty of fuel. 100. There's a hundred, let's slow things down. 200 meters. 50. There's 50. 40. 40. 30. 30. Audio sputter. 20. 20, slow things down a bit. All right, we're Ten. just gonna keep it there and Try to get rid of all that. Okay, we're down. Turn off the hold. Hit the brakes. And success. All right, so that was our 19th attempt. Let's go ahead and log it. So we'll do one more just to have a nice round number of 20, but I think we are all pretty well convinced at this point that the law of cosines is the way to go. You know, what is that? for seven out of eight successes. And again, broken record here, this absolutely would have been a success. All right, so let's uh, switch camera views here. And that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna do one more of these and then I'm gonna put this direct landing away for a while. So if you like watch, if you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like button. 
And if you didn't like watching it, leave your comment down below and tell me why. I'll see you in the next video.